Hello everyone. I hope you are doing amazingly well. Today I'll be talking about Mughal emperors and I will be talking about the first Mughal emperor which landed on India and he was none other than Babur. Yes. So today I'll be teaching you about Babur, his conquests, his fights, how his reign was in India and all about his life. It's going to be a really interesting session. I hope you would like it, enjoy it. So moving on. Yes, he is the one, Babur. And I have divided this into four parts. First one is the overview. Second is his reign, how his reign was and how he managed to conquer parts of India his fights and lastly some interesting facts about him yeah so yeah this is the code the bad news is time flies the good news is you're the pilot just to motivate you guys up so firstly moving on the overview and the, basically this uh, this section describes about his date of birth death and age so Babur, also known as Mirza Zahiruddin Muhammad, his full name, also given the name by the people, Firdaus Makan, meaning dwelling in paradise. He became the emperor of Uzbekistan, current Uzbekistan country. And in the year 1494, when he was just 11 years old, can you imagine 11 year old emperor ascending the throne of Uzbekistan? Just imagine. And he reigned over the Northern Empire during the years 1526 to 1530, quite short-lived, but still, he was a king. And uh, Babur was born in Uzbekistan, born and brought up in Uzbekistan in the year 1483. He came from the lineage of great, the great Genghis Khan. I hope you would be knowing about Genghis Khan. He was the greatest emperor ever born after Alexander the Great. And his empire stretched throughout the land of China, Mongolia, the whole of Asia, apparently. And the Babur's death, he died in the year 1530 when he was 41 years old. So basically his life was short-lived. And also he was succeeded by his son Humayun. And Babur is known as the father of Mughal Empire because he was the first Mughal emperor to set foot on the Indian subcontinent and also conquer different states altogether. Talking about his reign and conquests, he fought many battles, but the most primary ones were Battle of Panipat, uh, Battle of Kangra, and the battle with Rana Sangha. In the Battle of Panipat, this was the first battle when he entered India. In the year 1526, he entered India and he defeated Ibrahim Lodi and conquered Punjab. That was his first conquest. And that built his momentum. And therefore, in the year 1527, he fought with the Rajput ruler of Mewa and in the Battle of Khanwa and again in the Battle of Chanderi and therefore he defeated Rana Sangha as well and he conquered the parts of Rajasthan and Gujarat and that laid his foundation for his forthcoming emperors Aurangzeb, Jishajan and his son as well Humayun. So I'll be covering this in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.